welcome back to the vlog. We are in Paris again, which I'm thrilled about. I always have the best time when I visit Paris, but this time instead of coming with Polo, I actually came with a friend. So it's going to be a different vlog from last one. This time I came to Paris with Niels that many of you may know him. He is one of my best friends and we met through social media and we talk every single day. I absolutely adore him. So we planned this trip to just disconnect for a few days. This vlog different from the last one that was more like scenery and what to do and what to it. It's going to be more chill and shopping and just hanging out. I'm gonna put on the screen the hotel that we're staying on, but we're staying really close to Rocambon, so yes. We're going to Chanel, having coffee, trying our luck at Hermes that I don't have my hopes up at all, but it's fun to come with someone that just loves all of this as much as I do, so we're basically just gonna do that. As I said, this trip is just to disconnect, relax, walk around Paris, had good coffee, good bread, and have a good time. And there's a few things that I want to go look for. I would love to see if I can find any shoes, especially ballerina so i'm gonna try my luck with that of course i applied for another appointment so yeah today we're you're gonna see a lot of shopping stores right now i'm just finishing getting ready and waiting for news and then we're gonna go out and of course if we happen to do some actual shopping i'll show you what we got so yeah let's get ready and go out since we we're only coming for two days i packed quite light outfit of the day is quite simple i just went for all black with a brown coat and my birkin in gold with gold so i'm almost ready i just need to put the coat the shoes and grab the bag but it does kind of look like it's going to rain today so i'm a little bit concerned about the shoes good thing that we're just gonna be around the area at least for the mornings so if i need to come and switch the shoes it's going to be quite easy and short so this is the coat it's cashmere from el copini i'm definitely gonna link it the bag and the shoes are my chanel ballerinas that i am quite sure that i'm gonna end up regretting this but if we need to come and change i'll just do it i'll just grab a sweater and we can go out Hi, I'm Niels, I'm also a handbag lover and loose bestie, and we're here together in Paris for the next few days, so let's see what we can show you. Just the way I always was 
on how everything is going. I didn't have any luck at Hermes, but it's fine. I'm still gonna try tomorrow. I was not able to film at all. They asked me not to, so I just didn't. But Niels was a little bit lucky. Let's see if I can convince him to unbox on the vlog. We also went to Goyard and I tried the St. Louis tote. I've never owned one, so I was really curious if I liked it, but the straps were not long enough to really fit on coat, so I don't know if it's a good match. Maybe I should try the other tote, the one that has a zipper. I just forgot the name right now. But they also didn't allow me to film at all inside Goyard, so there's that. And then we went to La Dore for like a quick break and the coffee was really good. And the almond macaron was surprisingly amazing. Like I really, really loved it. And I decided to try my luck at Chanel and I hit jackpot for the shoes. Like I cannot remember a time where I actually found so many shoes in my size, which was amazing. So I ended up going out with one pair with the hook and bomb packaging, which I've always been a fan of. So I think I'm gonna use them tomorrow. So let's just unbox them. It was really hard to pick between the gray and the black pair so i ended up pretty much flipping a coin because i wanted both but we cannot take both i'm already quite worried how i'm gonna take this back but i definitely plan to take all the packaging with me because it's the original one since i got my beige ballerinas i've been quite obsessed in finding them but finding shoes especially chanel in my size it's always so complicated but i'm so happy that i did find a pair i ended up deciding to go for this color because i feel like it's the one that i'm gonna reach out for the most i will definitely gonna have to break them in same as the other one but I'm just so thrilled that I found them because they're gonna go with all the outfits that I feel like the other ones didn't go with. I actually love the contrast with the shiny leather. So, yep, I'm definitely gonna start using these ones probably even tomorrow. So I'm gonna rest for a little bit and see what else we can do. I've actually been enjoying a lot this trip. Like last one, we were running and walking around all day. And I know that basically on this one, we just went to cafes and went to stores. But I kind of needed something like that. Like I'm really having a good time. And Niels and I are just so similar that we have have such a good time so I'm glad that we have one more day <laughs> I feel <failed> that <laughs> you got an Pressure. appointment <laughs> okay so Niels got really really lucky here in Paris yeah finally actually tried to get an appointment for like ages and luckily I was able to get one this time even if it was actually for a man's back for a man's section but obviously this one isn't from the man's section so yeah. we don't know what it is yet not yet but <laughs> we will know it soon actually it's the first time that we are opening the box since we got Left it out of the store. store so yeah ASMR do a little bit here but <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a small dust bag it's not that small it's bigger well, than a mini kitty it depends on the person who's holding it I would probably say <laughs> for you it is big for me it's small so, yeah, we have the 2424 or Vent Quatre. Vent Quatre. Sorry for my mispronunciation. I already directly say mispronunciation because I'm 100% sure it's mispronounced. You speak many languages, so you are allowed. I speak English and German. That's all. That's two. Well, yeah, fair. Actually, while starting to trying it on in the store i already destroyed the stickers on the hardware no returns now no returns now exactly oh it has a back pocket i've actually never seen the 2424 before yeah, yeah it's the 2424 21 pack we actually all say mini but it's actually size 21 centimeter come in ever color leather i got the combination gold with gold which we all love so oh the working right there is the exact same Size comparison, Slay. Birkin 25 to uh, 24, 24 mini or 21. Never color leather, which is actually one of my most favorite leathers. Um, I was actually quite surprised because usually like gold comes with contrast stitching, not in this one. I asked for SA why, he said, I have no idea. Oh. So yeah, he wasn't able to tell me. He was like, yeah, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Attached actually in many ways, it's the same thing that you can do with the Kelly dance. So you have like a really thin shoulder strap that you can 
attach through those two holes. Just want to make a little bit of a intro. He's the most knowledgeable person about Hermes that you can find. So this is his first YouTube yeah. introduction. So I have probably a heart rate of 130 right now. So <laughs> if you try to see Stop me sweating. It. Everyone's gonna love you as much <laughs> as I do. I love you too. Like I had to do this before because it's like really premiere for me. You can just attach it through those three holes. Actually there are more. And then you have a crossbody bag. And you can also wear it in several different styles, like the same as the Kelly Dance. Actually, I have to admit that this bag for me is like getting a mini Kelly for many other people, because it's like the equivalent for me, because I actually kind of like the mini Kelly, but it doesn't fit anything. And I'm quite huge, so if I would wear a mini Kelly, it would look like I would wear a card holder on a chain. So for me, this bag is my mini Kelly, but better. I love it. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, and you also got the, the, the Calvi. Oh, yeah. So yeah. you can unbox this as well. Let me put this here. Thank you, my personal assistant. You're my welcome. personal unboxing assistant, <laughs> TUA. So I also got a Calvi, because speaking about card holders, I also have like a really big addiction when it comes to card holders. So yeah. Um, speaking about MS and knowledge, uh, some of you may, will know that MS has a lot of letters, especially heritage letters, and those are really my favorite. So I got the Calvi card holder, the normal one, not the compact duo, in Rouge Ash box letter. You're a natural. Ah, trying my best. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best teacher, I have to admit. <laughs> so yeah, those are the two things that I got from Paris this time. Amazing. Yeah. We're gonna go have dinner. Yeah, this will be great. I'm really hungry because we had a lot of fun today. How it happened, but I directly destroyed the plastic. Yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. So this was the end of day one. We'll definitely vlog tomorrow. My flight leaves super, super late, like 10 p.m. So we pretty much have the entire day in Paris. Since it was a bit tricky to film in some stores, I'm gonna try to go to another one and just walk around, you know, what we like to do in Paris. We wanted to go to Galerie Lafayette because there's a rooftop where you can have a really nice view of Paris. That was kind of the plan, but it was closed, so that was a little bit of a fail. I also did not get appointment for tomorrow, so there was no luck on this trip. Definitely not for lack of trying, but so far the stores, they told us that it's honestly really, really hard. But honestly, I've loved the trip so far. I am a little bit tired, so I'm gonna go to bed because I want to wake up early tomorrow and take advantage of the day the most that I can, so I'm probably gonna repack to leave everything almost ready for tomorrow. So now I'm just thinking I'm gonna go to bed. I'm definitely tired, and I want to wake up early tomorrow so yeah this is good night Okay, so it's Paris day two. We are having coffee and breakfast at Café de Flore. This time we decided to make the line because Niels is way more patient than Polo. 
and after this I really want to go to Van Cleef. Well, we actually want to go to Cartier. Cartier too. Yeah. I want to go to Cartier. We want to go to Goya, maybe again. Vintage shopping, maybe, if we find a good store. Vintage shopping would be actually really nice. Yeah. I don't know, but the main goal would be to find a new phone case. Because this is disgusting. Yeah. We want to find new ones. I actually already find one. Uh, and now we have to find one for Lou today. Yes. Okay, so I didn't have time to do outfit of the day at the hotel because I had to check out. But since I have the Osmo, it's a little bit easier on the street. I basically went for all gray with my white classic flap that now I'm a little bit concerned about the color transfer and my shoes. And my shoes, white pants. And um, that's it. Okay, let's do the same thing. Lou already told you what she's wearing today. Actually, I'm just in a really comfy Parisian mood, like wearing that blue denims, striped shirt, trench coat, MS scarf, and my new bag that I got yesterday at Football Boutique, my Vent 4 24 bag. So yeah, that's my outfit of the day. Let's go out. Okay, so it's a bit too early, so stores are still closed. But there's a vintage store that has a lot of bags that we really want to go and see, so we're gonna walk there. It's really close to Place Vendôme and it's called Valora Vintage Store.
Okay, so we're basically making time to go to the airport. We came to Dior to have some coffee and I'm thinking, trying to convince myself to not buy a phone case because I don't need a Dior phone case, but I really love it. And trying to convince Niels to buy a book tote, but he says that he doesn't have space anymore, which I know that we can manage. As Lou already described, we are here at Dior, which is actually quite nice. First time here being in a flagship store in Paris since they opened up, I think two years ago. Besides the fact that they have a lot of beautiful stuff here that I want to buy, that's not possible. We thought about maybe just having a coffee and now I'm having my 12 euro chai latte, matcha latte. Matcha matcha. Matcha matcha. Looks good, tastes horrible. So yeah, let's make the best out of the situation, enjoy it. And after that, we're looking again at the phone case that Lou wants to buy but doesn't want to buy. So.